So, hello and welcome back to Penis Retro. This is the video series where I go through every single Evercade cartridge and pick my top three favorites, that is to say if there are three favorites that I have uh, out of the games and the cartridge and do a short review. This time around we have a very interesting cartridge. It's the Mega Cut Studios Collection 1. It's the eighth cartridge. And I'll be completely frank, uh, these kind of cartridges is what drew me to the Evercade in the first place. Um, I don't remember particularly what I liked about this one, uh, but uh, I'm going to go through every game and, and, and pick the three that I like the most. But what I actually think is really interesting about these, and like I said, what drew me to the Evercade in the first place, is these are modern games made for old retro consoles, which is what Mega Cat Studios uh, specializes in. And uh, yeah, let's see which games I like out of this. So the third best game on this cartridge, in my opinion, is Little Medusa. Uh, I personally have a strong affinity for these kind of action, action puzzle games. The, I think Adv Adventures of Lolo for the Nintendo Entertainment System was the first game that I encountered was kind of like this. It's a, it's a fantastic game. And Little Medusa is based on one of these games called Kikul Cubicle. Uh, a fantastic hidden gem uh, in the action, plot, action puzzle genre for the NES and a, a legendary game in certain circles of, of fans for, for the NES. And as such, Little Medusa is, is really strong. It, 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 it has kind of these abilities. You can turn monsters into, into stone, you can create your own stones and you solve these puzzles. Uh, overall, a really strong game. My second favorite game on this cartridge is Absolutely Old Towers. Again, one of those uh, action puzzlers. Uh, you can you can basically see how it how it works just by watching how I uh, when I play it. Uh, I first encountered this game on the Serex Spectrum. I thought initially this was just a homebrew, like a fantastic homebrew game for the Serex Spectrum, but it has actually been uh, ported to a lot of different retro platform. Plat platforms. I think this is the I think this is the Mega Drive version. Fantastic graphics, really strong music. It just plays beautifully, and I love these kind of games. So I'm I'm gonna highly recommend Old Towers. And the best game on this cartridge, in my opinion, is Tanser. Tanser uh, kind of feels like a really really fast strider, and. Um, <laughs> It's a strange concept. You're, it's a post-apocalyptic setting, but you're a ballerina who's transformed into a robot or something like that. It is, it is a strange setting, but it's actually quite a fast, fun game. Um, you can upgrade your character, and you, there's, there's an interesting transmutation ability in this. It's really, really fast. There's no save feature. I think uh, you can buy an item though to, to, to be able to return where you were, but this is a game about just seeing how far you can get every single time. And games can take 20 seconds or 5 minutes or whatever, but it's, it's, you have to, when you start playing it, you, 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 you have to play it like 10 times in a row because it's just so fun. Plays beautifully, a really, really fantastic uh, Mega Drive game. What did I think about this? Mega Cut? Studios Collection 1. I I think it's an awesome cartridge. It's it's it's, it's a must buy in my opinion if you have the other kit. Uh, I love this because uh, every single game here has strong value I would say. Uh, mainly because this is made by people, these games are made by people who really love video games, love these kind of retro games and they wanted to create their own versions of it. There's like different versions of uh, Little Medusa is like Kegel Cubicle, and we have a, a, a version of River City Ransom. Uh, we have a, a Joust kind of game. We have a Windjammers kind of game. These are people who love these kind of games and they're making their own and they're releasing them for uh, consoles, old consoles. Like getting all these games also uh, on, on cartridges, that would be very expensive. You can buy most of these on cartridges, if not all. Um, so yeah, this is a fantastic value. Uh, all the games have value, it's a good cartridge, go buy it if you have the other kit, that's my recommendation. 